In this video I will show you exactly how I made these three different kind of color grades. I will also tell you the camera settings I use and in the end of the video I will show you one productivity tip and the end result of the color grades. My camera settings. I always use MP4 file format and shoot in D-Log. White balance I set manually. Usually I shoot in 5.4K using 30 frames per second or sometimes 24. For shutter speed I use the 180 degree rule which means 1 to 60 for 30 frames per second. ISO level as low as possible always. First let's get the project settings right in DaVinci Resolve. I use Ultra HD and 30 frames per second. In color management I use the DaVinci YRGB and DaVinci Intermediate. Then I create the bin for my video clips and I drag my video files to the bin. On the edit page I will choose one clip, drag it to the timeline and trim it. After that I go to the color page and start the actual color grading process. The first clip is a midday clip from Fred Wang in Le Futen. There is a bright sunlight and a clear sky. I have set the exposure trying to keep as much detail in the highlights as possible. First, I create a few nodes and name them according to purpose. Then, I add the color space transform effect on the first and last node. For the first node, I will set the input color space to DGI D gamut and the input gamma to DJI D log. In the last node, I set the output color space to Rec 709 and output gamma to gamma 2.4. Then I use the HDR grade tool to make the basic corrections like adjusting shadows and highlights. I want to preserve detail both in the dark and bright areas of the frame but also trying to keep contrast and avoiding too flat image. I try to make sure I have some real black and white in the frame. For correcting and balancing the colors I use offset tool in the color wheel tab. I think there is too much blue in the frame, so I will counter it by adding some yellow. By looking at the parade and vector scope, we can see the effect this adjustment have on the frame. I am not yet happy with the result, so I make some fine tuning in the HDR node. For the final touch, I will get back to these after I have all the grading steps done. These two nodes combined is what I call the color correction. After that, I will move to the more creative part of the grading process. I will start by desaturating all colors with the hue saturation curve in the curves tab. In this clip I keep all the other colors but get rid of magenta. Then I will go to hue versus hue curve. Here I slightly move blues towards teal. Next I add colors to different parts of the image with the HDR color wheels. I add some orange globally to the whole image. Then some yellow in the shadows and countering the yellow in the dark with some blue. I add slightly more orange to light and highlight. Then it's time for one of my favorite effects, glow. I almost always set the composite type to soft light. I adjust shine threshold, spread, gain, gamma and opacity to achieve the look I want. After adding the glow, I will fine tune all the adjustments made so far before proceeding to the last step of my grading process. The first step was the basic correction to adjust exposure, contrast and color balance. The second step was adding creative look with hue curves, HDR color wheels and the glow effect. Now in the final step I first clean the whites and blacks. In other words, I make sure that black is black and white is white by desaturating the brightest and the darkest areas of the image with the luminosity saturation curve. Then. I add detail to the image by adjusting the mid-detail value. I want the sky to be soft, so I add a gradient power window to make the adjustment not to affect the sky area and the mountains in the back. Last, I add sharpen effect on a node after the last node. I think the colors of the clip look too artificial, especially the sky so I have to make some adjustment to the hue curve to get more natural blue color for this guy. You can check the final result in full resolution at the end of this video. 
Next I will show you how I made the other two grades for different lighting conditions. There will be some additional steps that were not necessary with this clip. I will go through the node graph and adjustments and concentrate on what is different compared to the first grade. First I have added the color space transform nodes. After that I have used the HDR adjustments to adjust the exposure and contrast. In this clip I thought there is too much magenta and I balanced it with adding some yellow with the offset which gave a better starting point for the creative part. With curves I desaturated magenta and part of some blues. I also shifted blues slightly towards teal and yellows towards orange. With the HDR grading wheel I added only some orange to the light wheel. I didn't use the glow effect with this clip. I used the luminosity saturation curve to make sure I have clean blacks and whites in the frame. I added detail to the frame but did not want it to affect on the mountains in the back, so I added a gradient power window. The area is changing in the frame, so I had to track the power window to keep the effect on the right part of the image. In this clip I wanted to highlight the small island in the front middle area. I used separate node to adjust the exposure with HDR tools and added detail by adjusting mid-detail value. I created a power window and tracked it. Last, I applied the sharpen effect. The last clip is from 5 o'clock sunrise at Henningsvur Lofoten. There is really dark and really bright areas. I exposed for the highlights and sun which left the shadows really dark. As usual, first I have added the color space transform nodes. In this clip I have the HDR adjustments for exposure and the offset adjustment for the color balance in the same node. Again, there is the magenta hue which I don't like, and I have balanced it by adding some yellow with the offset. I made some subtle adjustments with the hue hue curve. I used hue saturation curve to desaturate magenta and add some saturation to greens and yellows. With the HDR color wheels I added yellow in the shadows and countered the effect by adding blue in the dark. I also introduced some orange in the lights and highlights. For my style I think the glow effect works perfectly in this clip, creating a slightly exaggerated soft and green look. Following my normal grading process, also in this clip, then I adjusted luminosity saturation curve to make sure I have clean blacks and whites. Last I added some detail to the front area, again using power windows like in previous grades. In this clip I wanted to preserve the soft green loop, so I didn't add sharpen effect at all. Then the productivity tip. If you have two similar clips, you can copy the grade to another clip. Add the new clip to the timeline and go to the color page. Select the new clip and click mouse middle button with your cursor being on top of the clip you want to copy the grade from. The first grade I created works really well for another clip that I shot during the same flight. In this video, I revealed to you exactly how I color grade. Now it's your time to act. Like and share the video. Together, we will rise and master the